And we bring in from Yahoo Sports, our buddy Dan Wetzel, who joins us here on 97.1. Hi, Dan. Hello, gentlemen. How are we? Doing well, buddy. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah. We um, we read your story, of course. And <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not accustomed to this. Uh, it seems like in... I've been covering Michigan since 1993, and when there's been an NCAA issue, there's always been a full commitment to, you know, compliance and doing whatever. Sometimes it feels like they even overpunish themselves, <laughs> um, but they they're they're prepared, or at least Jim Harbaugh is prepared for a stare down, huh? Well, it's a different NCAA than it used to be. Uh, this isn't even the NCAA of like 2019 let alone 1993, um, and we'll, we'll see. Uh, you know, look, Jim Harbaugh, the NCAA, it's just, like, look, the NCAA and Michigan are trying to resolve these violations, which most cases are, especially ones involving um, level two and level three violations and things like that. I mean, that you, you come in, you admit you did it. You know, the book says you got to lose five recruiting visits. You agree to do three everyone's happy go you know take an online course on the rule book and everyone goes home um and that's almost always the case just as it would be in the legal system you plead guilty you might get a break on your thing jim harbaugh is in is not interested at all in admitting that he uh lied to nca investigators which is what this case is really about there are four level two violations that are not that serious but when asked about him the nca believes he's untruthful he did not cooperate that becomes the level one in their little parlance, and that's when you could get up to a six-game suspension. You could get recruiting. Uh, you could be taken off the road recruiting. You put a show cause. You can do all sorts of stuff to the coach uh, for lying. That's the part they take serious. Harbaugh says he didn't lie. He just didn't recall the incidents when he was uh, first questioned about it in the uh, in the by the investigators. And NC at this point is not backing down. And Harbaugh is not backing down, and so that's where you are in the middle. Should Harbaugh did Harbaugh really know or not? I don't know. If he didn't, should he admit it just to get this thing to go away? I heard you guys talking earlier. I, you know, that's that's I guess the debate. But if you know anything about Jim Harbaugh through the years, he is uh, extremely stubborn. Um, the idea that he would just back down from anything, um, just to go along, you know, get along, go along to get along. Just, that's just not Jim Harbaugh. So here we are at a at an impasse, and it's, it'll be interesting to see what Michigan. You know, are they going to back Harbaugh to the fullest? Are they going to not? Are they? What, you know, where do we go from here? Does the NCAA bat, does the NCAA really have the, the muscle left to take on this fight? Because um, Harbaugh is a guy who'll go to the wall on it. I, I, I you know, it, it fits his personality. So we'll see. It's pretty interesting, though, for a really uninteresting case. Otherwise. <laughs> Well, you, you mentioned that the uh, the NCAA is a different NCAA that even than there was in 2019. Is Harbaugh acting as if this was uh, this is the NCAA of, of years past? Would the NCAA of years past be more lenient or more willing to back down and say whatever these are insignificant charges doesn't really matter? We don't care for if you admit uh, any transgressions or not. No, they've always taken uh, lying you know, as a very serious thing. I mean, look, this is a voluntary organization. So Michigan is as much a part of the NCA as anybody else. And given the the power and the popularity and all of that of of Michigan athletics, it's it's a greater part of the NCA. Michigan helps make the rules and then agrees to follow the rules. So this isn't necessarily an, it's not supposed to be an adversarial uh, situation, at least not supposed to. In the past, this was their thing. Uh, you can remember the, the Tennessee, the, the Auburn basketball coach, now Bruce Pearl, but he was at Tennessee. Uh, he got a three-year, basically a three-year ban from coaching because he lied to NCAA investigators about having some recruits, uh, including Aaron Kraft, the old Ohio State player, oh, over his house for a cookout. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jim Tressel lost his job, essentially, from, from Ohio State, not because his players were trading memorabilia to, to, to spend the money to get tattoos, as it's often said, but because he knew about it and didn't report it, and then, lot, you know, that was untruthful or whatever. I don't want to, you know, put the wrong word in, in there uh, when confronted by the NC investigators. So in the past, they would go after anybody. Um, and and maybe they still have the, the fight to do that against Harbaugh. The thing about um, 
you know, Bruce Pearl, uh, you know, they had different evidence. Uh, Trestle had emails and things like that where you can you could contemporaneously prove that he knew or and all these things that that evidence apparently isn't here for for Harbaugh. So it's a you know, if you say I I just didn't recall at the time I made a mistake and didn't recall, um, how do you prove that that's that's a lie? And that that may be where this case boils down to. But um, I don't know. So in the past, they would definitely go. This would not be an advisable route for anybody. But again, they they just don't have the public support. Um, who knows how long the NCA even exists? The way things are rolling, the the you know the the rules change, everything changes. Um, so it's if Harbaugh wants to fight this and take a you know fifteen eighteen month battle with him on it. I think he's prepared to do that. And if Michigan's willing to back him on that, they very well may win. Um, if this was twenty fifteen years ago, whatever, whatever Trestle was around, Ohio State said, "Yeah, we're not doing that." You, um, I, I know you talk to a lot of people in the game. What do you get the sense that other coaches think of this? Are they watching this closely? Are they wanting to see the book thrown at Harbaugh? Or are they actually, because everybody complains, it seems like, about the NCAA, are they rooting for Harbaugh? How is this shaping up in terms of the people in the game? Yeah, there's a lot of people that, well, it, you know, it, it goes both ways. There's, yeah. there's certainly a lot of people say, hey, fight a pound fan, forget it, prove it. You know, all those things. Um, why Why do we just have to roll over and play dead when they accuse us of something? Uh, if they don't have evidence, then they don't have evidence. And uh, make them prove it. This shouldn't be a thing. Why should Jim Harbaugh, you know, Harbaugh's a unique guy. Like the idea of admitting uh, that he was untruthful would just doesn't sit well with him or whatever, right? So he just, that, that means a lot to him. And he, he has the wherewithal to just say, forget it. I got all the money I need. I can go to the NFL. I don't have to coach here. Um, he's in a unique position where he can he can potentially just do this and have that mindset. So there's a lot of support there for that. Um, there's also plenty of coaches and people in college that like, they don't like Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's plenty of like, oh, good. You know, I, I'm not sure they're, they're, they're sending them uh, support uh, telegrams from Columbus or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not expecting that. No. Yeah, I'm not, you know, Mel Tuck, go give him the hell, Jim. I don't think, I don't know that that's <laughs> happening or not. I have no idea. But uh, so it's sort of a mixed bag. Like he's maybe not the uh, the perfect warrior for them, but um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of belief that just you know these guys just come in and say, "Hey, you lied. You did this, and you just got to take it." And a lot of times the schools don't have 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 gone and just said whatever the NCA says, we roll over. We just we just don't want to get sanctioned, and everyone's looking out for their own job. You have all sorts of administrators and and all these things, and it's like you know what. If this is a if this is a legal case, you'd fight fight to the end. You have the right to fight to the end. Um, and why do we have to compromise? And so, I think that's where it is with with Harbaugh right now. It's just like, well, I didn't do it, so you can't prove it. Uh, you want to try? Go ahead. But I'm gonna, I you know, Jim will Jim will mount a furious defense. I was gonna I, ask. I'm it, sure. Is there is there evidence? I mean, if the, if the NCAA really thinks that he's lying, I mean, are they? Is it just well? It only makes sense that he's lying because it goes against everything else that we've we've found here, or, or is it well? We've gone through some records and you know Zoom chats, and you were clearly on a Zoom call here where guys were being coached in the background, and you know we've got you red-handed. Admit it, or or is there no evidence at all? Well, he's willing. He has admitted that the violations occurred, is is what I've been told, and he has apologized to the university that these violations. Whether or not they can prove he knew, he, he knew you know, they come to him. I mean, I, this is not the case, so I'm just trying to paraphrase. But they come to him and say, hey, there was a, there was a coach, work, there's an analyst on your staff. He's not allowed to coach in a practice session, but your guy did that. What happened there? I don't, I don't remember that. I don't know what you're talking about. That didn't happen. And, and, and then you later go, oh, actually, I do recall. I, I was just confused. I didn't remember what you were talking about at that time. Or do they sit there and have an email like Jim Harbaugh te- you know, te- texting the guy, great job coaching the, the guy. Today, right? <laughs> um, uh, I have been told that evidence is not there. You would assume if they had that kind of evidence, Jim Harbaugh would say, all right, you got me. I did. I, you know, I don't know. I, it, it would certainly change the dynamic here. At the same time, you got to look at the NCA investigators. Like, they're taking on a big fish here. 
Yeah. And so, you know, it's like prosecutors. They don't prosecute everyone in a crime, and part of it is how easy can we win the case. So that's the mystery here. I've been told there's no evidence that's going to implicate Jim Harbaugh on any that they can prove he knowingly lied, and that's the problem. That's the hardest thing to prove. Did someone knowingly lie, or did they just forget? You, you know, anyone who sat through a deposition or paid any attention to depositions, it's always, I just don't recall, I just don't, re-, you know, that's what your lawyer will tell you to say over and over because it's, it's virtually impossible to prove that he didn't, that you did recall and uh, when, when you say you didn't. So that's, that's the rub here, but certainly Harbaugh seems willing to fight on those grounds. The NCA seems willing to fight on those grounds. Which one blinks first? I don't know. I was about to say, and this may be the toughest thing to do, um, what do you think happens? How do you think this gets resolved? Yeah, I mean, the third part is what does Michigan do here? Like, is Michigan going to back Harbaugh fully? Um, I think if they do, then they take they, they go to the fight. I think probably Jim prevails in the long run. But, you know, these are just wild guesses um, without knowing all of, all of what everybody has. But um, this is a heck of a road for Harbaugh to go down if it's, like, going to be revealed, like I said, some text message that, you know, just totally blows him out of the water. Um, is he cornered? Has he, he's had time certainly to think this over. It's not that instantaneous response. So I think if he fights, I don't know that the NCAA is going to, I mean, look, we're, we're talking about, you know, you, it's a, it's a, a year, eight, 15, 18 months. Some of these cases have taken forever, right? Um, you're through the 2023 season, you get down the line and, do you ever have to serve some amount of time? Like, if the, the max penalty for Harbaugh is six games, is it not easier for the NCAA to just sit there and say, hey, sit out the first two, three, everyone declares themselves a winner here next year? You would think so. It's also easier for Harbaugh, but Harbaugh is not, not going to do it. So, I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting, and it'll be interesting how, how much does Michigan bat. Are they going to go to the wall and say, this is our coach, this is our alum, this is our guy, we're with Harbaugh 100%. Bring it on, NCAA. We're not scared of you anymore. Or do you do what has generally been the case and said, hey, we got to cooperate with this organization. We're part of this organization. Dan, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. And we'll circle back when there's, uh, when there's more on this story. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Talk to you later.